It's a blast of winter, but across southern Alberta, this January snowfall is likely too little and too late. We know snow is how we got into trouble last year with the drought. Uh, the snowpacks were below normal and then they melted early. Well, this year they're below what they were last year. While much of the country is experiencing drought conditions right now, the situation is most serious across parts of the Northwest Territories and the Southern Prairies, setting the stage for some big problems around the availability of water in the year ahead. Just before the holidays, we reached out to uh, municipalities across the province uh, because we really wanted to make sure that they were putting plans in place. Last spring, Calgary enacted restrictions on water use for the first time in the city's history. But with reservoir levels low and the El Nino weather pressure still in play, many forecasters believe this summer's drought could be even more severe. Lethbridge is uh, very, very concerned about being too able to supply drinking water to its uh, residents uh, next in, over this year. And uh, many rural communities that rely on small surface water ponds are in dire trouble. It's a problem for industry too. 50% of Alberta's water is allocated to farming, but the region is also a major food processing hub. Food processing is quite intensive and it requires a lot of water. If you don't have any water, you have to cut back on production. And and that's the last that's the last thing you want to do as a business because production cuts would see food prices climb it's not as if we're just in some bad luck i think there's been a fundamental change to our climate with warmer temperatures there's greater demand for that water especially if we see a wildfire season as bad as 2023 water is a critical resource and the lack of it could be one of the biggest challenges facing western canadians this year Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.